Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what what that is supposed to be. Uh, but just just go with it, all right? What's going on there, everyone? Welcome here to another YouTube video. I've talked in quite a few videos uh, here on my YouTube channel about just my past and how I lived between the age of 12 to 18 for just six years with just deep suicidal thoughts and well that eventually even turned into uh, plants what i never shared or just never shared extensively as i want to do actually here in this video is what saved my life and that would act which actually kept me going and as you probably got from the title from this video uh it were video games video games saved my life Now, there's actually a few reasons why I wanted to make this video and I mean the first reason is just simply to anyone watching where video games are sort of doing the same uh, that it did for me, you know, that it's actually the thing that's sort of like keeping them alive, that is making life just like at least a bit fun. I sort of want to go through a couple of reasons on how exactly video games saved my life, uh, you know, what they did for me. Um, and with that, I also want to just go through how life is right now. When I was 18, I sort of broke out of... Just life changed in so many ways because I left to travel uh, the world. And just so many things changed, actually. I didn't know back then that life could be different. You know, no one showed me, no one talked about it. Like, I am hopefully doing here for anyone who is in the same place as I was back then. But another reason is there's sort of a, I don't know, uh, maybe it feels a little bit like a stigma. Whenever I share how exactly, you know, what exactly saved me when I was going through that time, people in a way s seem to just laugh a little bit about it and more in the way that they don't understand it right how exactly video games can can just save someone and can be there for someone when they're going through a hard time people back then had no clue and they just thought that i was addicted to it or something but it never ever was something like an addiction to me it was just really a way of escaping out of this life that I was just hating so much and out of this person that I was that I was hating so much as well. There is deeper reasons why some people play video games and that's why I wanted to make also a video on this to just bring an understanding. I want to go through four things that actually I didn't have back then that I found in video games. I want to share those and then also just show how it can be differently, how it can be in real life as well. At that time, when I was 12 to 18, just life felt like a prison to me. You're so restricted, and I mean, there's reasons, right? Because you're really young. Sure, I get that. I always thought that life was gonna be like that, that you just, you know, back then I just had to go to school, do homework, go to bed, wake up, and just repeat. And I hated that. I hated that so much. I thought school was extremely boring, and just life altogether, I just... I just thought it was like, wow, is this life? Video games brought like the whole opposite, you know, they gave freedom, they gave adventures and I was able to do just thrilling things that I just wasn't able to do in, in real life or that I wasn't allowed in real life and that I was craving for so much. You go on quests, you go to dungeons, you, you fight all these like battles and and it, it's just it's so cool like you have this freedom to go wherever you want i didn't have that freedom in real life i uh, there was nothing just in life that was adventurous or thrilling to do but there you immediately had like the freedom to go wherever you wanted to go i was craving for that so much in real life so i took a chance and i was able to leave school when I was 18 and I went to travel for two months to South Africa, did a volunteering project there, 
came back just completely different. And uh, that's sort of when I realized, wow, all those things that I wanted to have in real life, they're actually out there. And then I just traveled on for three years uh, to uh, Australia, worked there for, for a year in different jobs and just traveled around the country to New Zealand. Uh, and over these last 11 years, I just I went to become a dive master. I've climbed so many mountains. Mont Blanc, Triglav, Grosslockner, Zugspitze, the Matterhorn, and just so many other ones. I've lived quite an adventurous life. But I want to just, again, that's why I want to make in this video, show that you can find those adventurous things and that kind of freedom in real life as well. Of course it's kind of difficult when you're not 18 to have the complete freedom that you will have once you are like legally allowed to just, you know, that you're like an adult. But that doesn't mean that you can't have sort of, or that you can't taste adventure and freedom like when you're younger. Find a volunteering project in an area that you're interested in. like. In South Africa, I went to do a building project there because that was sort of like, yeah, that sounds kind of cool to build and help, you know, build a school. But you can find those things in wherever you're living uh, or in uh, another country not so far from where you're living. You gotta take the leap. You gotta dare to do it. And the best thing is to book it, you know, to book it and to have it scheduled, to have it in your agenda. Like... Once I scheduled scheduled my trip to South Africa and booked my plane ticket, it was sort of like, well, now I have to go, <laughs> you know? And it helped a lot for me. I, like I said, hated myself back then when I was 12 and eight, uh, to 18. And the reason why I hated myself so much was just you start with one thought that you sort of uh, think and it just builds up with layers and layers that belief becomes you know stronger and stronger that you are just not worthy or not good enough. I thought life was so boring I also just well didn't enjoy school and didn't pay much attention to it so I was getting bad grades right um, and I also didn't sleep a lot because uh, I just well stayed up to play video games because I didn't want it to go and sleep because then it was gonna be the next day so I was getting bad grades and um, with that I also started to believe more that I was not that I was dumb uh, also teachers were starting to treat me more like someone who was dumb or 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 just didn't pay any attention to me anymore and I, I get it right um, because I didn't care about it all. I didn't care about anything. I didn't care about my grades. This belief that I was dumb started to develop stronger and stronger. And then also just, you know, so many other things. I was super bad with girls back then. I didn't like how I was, how I looked. I couldn't understand why anyone would ever like me. Because uh, I didn't know any of my qualities. I didn't know that I had any talents or qualities at all back then. And, well, in video games, that's where you just... Uh, you 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 get this chance to start anew, you know. You can, especially with MMORPGs, you can create this character, and you can create that character exactly how you like. Every time that I was l able to log in, I was able to become just this different someone. Uh, I didn't have to show my face. I was able to chat with people and just connect and just not talk about me, you know, talk about the game, talk about the quest, talk about the dungeons that we were going to do, about the events that were happening in that world. You gotta face the world, right? You gotta put yourself out there in the world to start to get to know yourself. That's the only way to sort of sort of know what your talents are and your skills. I didn't do that back then, right? Because I was I was getting away from me. But when I went traveling, I you know was started. Well, people seemed to sort of like me, uh, and I was very surprised in the beginning that people would ever like me as a person uh, but through that I also started to see that I have qualities uh, and that I have skills you know that I was able to help with so many things you know when I was building 
that school together with the other volunteers. And, you know, all these mountains that I climbed, they sort of, like, increased my confidence um, that I was able... Because that's, you know, how you in the end sort of build confidence, is by putting yourself in uncomfortable situations where you have to confront certain fears and when you can when you confront those you have to sort of learn to get over those or learn to deal with them mountains have been such an amazing teacher to me in in just learning what i'm capable of and i'm capable of a lot of things so so much more than i ever thought and ever knew back then when i was that age and just in my room and the reason why was because I didn't went out into the world. I didn't confront anything. And then just also by, you know, because I thought I was dumb. When I was 21, I started the IPS project and it took a long, you know, it's quite an evolution of where it is now to where it was back then, right? Uh, it takes time to create something. But through that, I also learned that I'm not so dumb as I thought I was back then, because I completely myself created something out of nowhere that today is my full-time job. Uh, I am, you know, paying other people, well, we have a team at the IBS project, I, I'm paying other people so they can live as well. And it's just amazing uh, <laughs> to me to, to realize that each time when I'm paying those people out and just when I get, you know, messages from people who are changed by the content that we offer at the IBS project. And I'm just also just studying psychology at, university. I'm not so dumb as I thought that I was back then. But there was a reason again why I was acting that way, why I was having bad grades, because I was just in a serious depression. And slowly, and it took a lot of years, right, to, to get to that point where I'm now, I actually have a lot of respect for myself and a lot of love for who I am as a person. And it's only through putting yourself out there in the world and facing your demons and doing something about them, that you can slowly start to get that sort of respect for yourself and feel that love. You're the chosen one or you're the hero, you know, the adventurer that has to go and save, you know, people or, or save the world. You matter, you, you matter greatly in video games. And in real life, you're just sort of, <laughs> Well, especially when you're young, you're kind of like no one. You don't matter too much. You might matter to your parents and, and uh, other loved ones. So in a sense, you do matter, right? So don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't feel always like that, right? Maybe you could resonate with that. Uh, in video games, it just feels so much more significant that you matter. Who will stand for this woman? We all like to feel like we matter in life and I just didn't have that during that age when I was young. I, yeah, missed that uh, and that's why I also in a way was sort of getting closer to actually, well, um, taking action on the plans that I had. Like, I was like, who cares? Like, I do not matter to this world, to anyone. But again. <laughs> the thing that kept me kind of coming back or wanting to just uh, keep struggling every day again was that I did matter somewhere else and I was in video games. It's about finding meaning in life and doing something that brings and gives you meaning. And to me, that was creating the IPS project. And it is still strong, so strongly today. You know, the work that I do there. But then also just topics like that I'm extremely, that I have deep love for psychology. Finding meaning in that, in the therapy that I do, in helping people, in creating videos like this that I'd had thousands of views, some of them, it gives so much meaning and satisfaction in a way, right, that you matter in life. Finding that meaning, that came by, and that kind of ties together with the second thing that I shared on just figuring out and knowing who you are. And the best way to do that is by just putting yourself again out there in the world and just trying everything, you know, so many things, everything that you're sort of 
have any interest for, go and do that. That's what I did when I was traveling. I did so many different jobs and also jobs that I was definitely sure of that I was definitely never gonna do, but it's still good to make sure that it definitely is something, you know? I worked on a farm, I worked as a mechanic, I worked as a waiter, I rebuilt corals, I, well, worked to build a school, I worked as a park ranger, I did so many different jobs. It's not per se that you have to go and travel, but it's a great sort of like real life experience to just go out there and just try those things. And also it kind of opens possibilities, right? When you go out, you know, I never knew that you could also, you know, be a dive master or a dive instructor. I never knew that was a thing when I was younger. Or I never knew that I was able to create my own job like I, I did now. Never knew that. Once you found what brings you great meaning, you also will experience that you matter in life, that you matter to other people. But a lot of times it's about helping others. Uh, that just in so many ways, uh, yeah, brings meaning. The nature of an MMO is that it's a massively multi multiplayer online game. So you play with a lot of other people. Uh, so it's quite, in a way, social, right? You do things together. It, it just connects people, you know, by doing sort of a shared experience together, you connect better. And I was able to make just way easier friends there than in real life. It's less confrontational because they don't immediately see you, but they see a, an avatar of you, a, char a character that you kind of molded in a way that you like. <laughs> so it's more easier to sort of be able to talk and be open and just uh, chat and I, like, honestly, I, I have some great and fond memories of that you know, those years, but they were all just online in the game and not in real life. I made some actual real friends there that I just was able to talk to and and just show little glimpses of the real life me that I didn't dare to share in real life to anyone. That was definitely the fourth sort of big pillar, you could say, that, that why video games video games saved me, that they gave me friends and a community and made me feel just not so lonely as I was feeling. There is, and this is so cool to know, there is a community for everyone into anything, any area, even if it's so niche, there is a community out there for everyone and it's more easier than ever to find and connect with that community through the internet, right? But it's important if you truly want, and we need sort of like, well, person to person connection to truly not feel lonely in life. Like online games can to a degree lessen that, you know, pain of loneliness, but it can never completely take it away because we are still human beings. We still need in-person connection. And it matters greatly that you do that or that you sort of work towards finding real friends and, and towards really connecting them in real life. For me, the IPS project building that company, you know, led to me also like working remotely as a digital nomad, meeting so many other entrepreneurs, you know, while I was traveling, where I've met some amazing people and some really good friends. But then also now, because I'm more like just living permanently in Antwerp in Belgium, working from a co-work place where there's other entrepreneurs as well, other people who are self-employed or similar thinking like me, you know, have made great friends and incredible friends there. Finding a sport that you love, like with me climbing, bouldering, I love it so much and I've met some amazing people through it. But I was able to meet like new people and to have actual good friends Sort of in the exact same way that I did it in video games, which is just by doing shared experiences together in something that you enjoy doing. Everything that I shared and talked about uh, in this video kind of builds uh, on each other, right? Finding friends and a community in real life is about knowing who you are and knowing sort of, well, which community you gotta look for. And a way to know who you are is by, well, getting out there in the world and just uh, discovering your qualities and, and your skills and what brings you meaning. And those were the four reasons why I was so drawn to video games and why I kept playing video games back then and why video games saved me. Now, I just wanna share, I guess, a few last words, you gotta make a decision, right? Um, in the end, and I made that decision when I was 18 because 
I was too miserable. Yes, you can keep, you know, logging in online and sort of like go away from, you know, the unhappiness that you're feeling. But in the end, you always will have to log out again. Like real life is always still gonna be the place where you will end up being. I don't think I could have kept living on, on how I felt back then. And I don't think video games would have continued to save me. But it was the four walls of my room that truly were my prison cell. And it was by breaking out of those four walls, breaking out of that room and getting out of there into the world that I truly started to see that life can be different. Many times it's our environments and the people in our environment as well that kind of keep us stuck in a certain mindset or in a certain way of living. And the best way is to, is to, to just literally leave your prison cell. But again, you gotta take a chance at life, you know, take a chance, just try it. That's all I can, all I can say in the end. If you want to just share your story on where you are right now in your life, or if you have any, you know, other tips for, for other people, you can do that in the comment section below, right? With that, I just hope you got something out of this video and that it was able to show you something that I just never knew back then, you know, that life can be different and that life can be in so many ways, awesome.